our universe is already far too big to even begin to understand. American astronomer Harlow Shapley once believed the Milky Way was 300,000 light years across. It seemed like an absurdly large number, but it was surprisingly almost accurate. He was more or less correct in his calculations of proportional distances within the Milky Way and the position of our Sun in relation to the galaxy. His critics said 300,000 was far too large, and Heber Curtis came up with a number three times too small. And seeing as how we couldn't get the size of our galaxy right, finding the size of our universe was still some time away. When we discuss distance in light years, it's understandable if some astronomers centuries ago got it wrong, but their studies have enabled us to go beyond and find out what lies in the deep dark. Today we're certain the Milky Way is about 100 to 150,000 light years across, and the universe, of course, is much, much larger. It is most likely 93 billion light years in diameter and still expanding. A single light year spans 6 trillion miles or 9.65 trillion kilometers. So if you attempted to travel across the universe, the journey would never end. This is Earth, about 295,855 miles or 476,132 kilometers away is our natural satellite, the Moon. In the distance between these bodies, we can fit another 30 Earths. If we zoom out further, we'll find the Voyager 1, a space probe launched by NASA in 1977. As of September 17, 2020, the probe is 14 billion miles or 22.5 billion kilometers away from Earth, making it the most distant man-made object from Earth. Even 43 years after its launch, it still transmits valuable data to Earth and carries out routine commands. This is only the beginning. Our observable universe consists of galaxies and other matter that we can see from Earth because light from those objects has had time to reach our planet since the beginning of the cosmological expansion. The farther an object is from Earth, the longer it takes for its light to reach us. Some are so far away. It would take billions of years until we finally see it, meaning there are objects out there whose light still hasn't reached Earth. And therein lies the issue. We live in a little bubble, and what's outside of that bubble is unknown to us. We know the universe is 13.8 billion years old, maybe give or take a few hundred million. That means an object whose light took 13.8 billion years to reach us should be the farthest thing we can see. By that logic, why haven't we assumed the universe is only 13.8 billion light years across? It's because we know the universe is ever expanding. The amount of time light takes to reach us changes all the time. But luckily, scientists know how much our galaxy has moved in respect to other objects. As of now, we have moved 46.5 billion light years away from where we once were, based on the expansion of the universe. And because the universe is ever expanding, the outer edges of the observable universe get further away from us at speed faster than light. Andrew Colvin attempted to bring some perspective of the incredible ever-expanding universe with a series of drawings, starting with our planet and gradually zooming out. So let's start there. Here is Earth, with 71% of our surface covered with water. But as we zoom out, not only does the Milky Way become a tiny speck on the board, we see how many billions of stars are there. This is the local galactic group where we are and where the next biggest galaxy, the Andromeda Galaxy, is. The Milky Way and Andromeda move towards each other at a speed of 76 miles per hour. In just 4 billion years, the galaxies will collide and neither will be able to survive. If they do survive, the collision will permanently disrupt the flat, spiral shapes of both and create an elliptical-shaped galaxy with new constellations and a reddish hue. We would see the crash occur in front of us, and our night sky will never look the same again. It's hard to ascertain the total number of galaxies in the local galactic group, but some estimates show at least 80. Further out is the Virgo supercluster, consisting of 700 galaxies. It resembles the Milky Way, 
and measures 110 million light years across. It's moving at a speed of 10 miles an hour towards the M81 galaxy group, the closest cluster of galaxies to us, and residing in the constellation of Ursa Major. Even if we moved at the speed of light, it would take us 11 million years to reach M81. The existence of superclusters prove that galaxies in the universe are not uniformly distributed. Many of them are drawn together into groups, each containing about 10 to 12 galaxies. They span between several hundred million light years to 10 billion light years across, making up the 5% of the observable universe. Superclusters are the most massive structures we know of out there, and studying them can give us an idea of the initial condition of the universe and how it began. After our local supercluster group, we finally have the observable universe, everything we know of. Our knowledge is limited to everything within this bubble. It is a spherical region of the universe comprising objects that can be viewed from our planet or seen with the help of space probes. There are about two trillion galaxies in this space, together containing more stars than there are grains of sand present on Earth. Though in principle, we should be able to see more galaxies in the future. A lot of them would have shifted due to the expansion and have therefore become invisible to us. We now know the observable universe is likely a fraction of the actual universe. The theory of cosmic inflation, put forward by Dr. Alan Guth, suggests that in its earliest moment, the universe expanded faster than the speed of light. Even objects, now far apart from each other, were once in close contact. Estimates show that in present day, the size of our universe is 150 sextillion times larger than the observable universe. It's hard to fathom what that even looks like. Beyond this observable universe could be something unbelievably fantastic. But we might never know. As the rate of the universe's expansion increases, whatever is observable to us currently will eventually appear to freeze in time while emitting redder and fainter light. And we have to accept that light of some objects too far away would never even reach Earth. The little we can see might be all we'll ever observe. And at this point, we are lost. Indistinguishable from the hundreds of billions of dots on the map. In our attempt to learn and make a mark on the infinite fabric of the universe, we have had over 800 space missions. What started with the first crewed mission to the moon has now led to us discovering water on the moon. Billionaires are now planning to settle colonies on Mars. We have a genuine possibility of commercializing space travel and making space hotels. It takes us nowhere near the edge of the universe for a peek outside, but it does bring us closer to understanding its boundlessness all the same.